Hello, my name is Urban Weatherspoon. I am the program manager here at Dreams Limited Clubhouse with Easter Seals, Michigan. Um, been here since September 13th, 2021. Uh, it's been a great journey here at the clubhouse. Um, I came from a previous clubhouse called the Gathering Place Clubhouse in Redford, Michigan. Um, they're also attached to an auspice agency. Um, been working with clubhouses for four years there and almost nine here. I'll go on at nine. And it's been a great journey here. Um, we're glad to have anyone who wants to be a part of the clubhouse to come for a tour and um, we can go from there. So if you have any questions, you can always reach me out to my email iWeatherspoon at essmichigan.org uh, or you can call the clubhouse at 248-544-2034. It'd be good to have you guys to come be a part of the clubhouse with your clients and we can build up our program. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Karen. Um, I've been a clubhouse member for 11 years. Um, this is a great place to come. Um, part of my story is that before I came to Clubhouse, I was hospitalized 10 times. And since I've come to Clubhouse for the past 11 years, I've been hospitalized zero times. So this is a great place to come. There's lots to do here. Um, I've even gotten some part-time jobs through Clubhouse. Um, some of my jobs have been seasonal. And I just um, recently got a new job that I'm going to be working part-time. So this is a great place to come, great people to mingle with, great things to do. And um, I hope you enjoy our tour of the clubhouse. And this is just a great place to come. I've come a long way from since I've come to clubhouse. <laughs> Hi, welcome to clubhouse. Come on in, this is a great place to come. So my name's Karen and I'll show you around our clubhouse. Um, first of all, when members come here, um, they have to sign in. They have to sign in the time they arrive and the time they leave and everything, and even their mode of transportation. So we keep track of all that data. So come on in. Um, we have a coat room over here. Um, that's our coat room. And over here, this is a great place to come. Uh, over here is our library. So we had members that organized our whole library and organized all the books, put the books into fiction, nonfiction, mystery, romance, science fiction, self-help, spiritual books. We got them all in here. We got all our books in here. People come here throughout the day and they can read and stuff. And it's a, the library is a great place to come. Um, also around this way, we have members doing our work order day stuff, so you're going to see members in action. That's Debbie. Wave, Debbie. That's Debbie cleaning our lockers. So come on this way. So this is our hospitality services unit meeting room. So what they do here is they have a meeting every morning. This is one section of the clubhouse, and this is our task board. And on the task board, these are all kitchen and dining room tasks that we do here at the clubhouse on a daily basis. And you can sign up to do a lot, you can sign up to do a little. It's whatever you feel like doing that day, however much energy you have. Some people come here and they sign up to do a lot of stuff. Some people come here and sign up to do a little stuff. So these are all kitchen and dining room tasks. And every task on this board, if you don't know how to do something, another member will show you how to do it. So it's all members working with members and we develop relationships here and we develop friendships here. And this is a great place to come. So over here, we have social rec events. So our Valentine's party is a really big hit here. Our Halloween party is a really, really big hit here. Um, we've had 20th anniversary and 25th anniversary parties. We've had picnics here. We've had talent shows here where members display their talents. We have some really great musical instrument players here. We have a great saxophone player here, a great guitar player here. We have um, people that sing really well here. So we have talent shows too. 
So if you want to come this way, this is our dining room. So this is where all the action is. Um, we come to our dining room throughout the day and we have our meals here and we can sit and have coffee here and socialize and talk and everything. So this is our dining room. We have a TV over here and we have what's called our virtual weekly bulletin on our TV. It'll tell you everything that's going on around Clubhouse on the TV. It'll give you and give our meals, that we, our daily meals that we have. We have a daily meal here each day. Our meals are only $1.50, which is a really great um, price to have for a meal. Meals are only $1.50. We have social rec events um, that people put ideas up for. Like somebody put up the idea to go to the zoo or the Detroit Historic Museum. We have talent shows here. So we do a lot. Of, we do one Saturday activity each month. And then we do two evening activities each month. Um, we're working on bowling. Bowling is going to be a really big hit here. Members like to go bowling. So, over here, this is our snack shack. Over here, we offer pop and chips. And we offer pop and chips. juices in here too. So we have one member that will run the snack shack and give you your stuff, your goodies. We have another member that will sit down at here at the cash register and um, tally up your order and work the cash register. So I've learned how to work a cash register here in case I get a job at a store working a cash register. So this is our kitchen back here. So our kitchen is really a um, great place. We have all commercial equipment. Uh, anybody want to explain the kitchen back here to, um, to the video? Um, this, is, this is our clubhouse kitchen. Uh, member and staff work side by side in the kitchen. Um, we prepare lunch daily for um, all of our colleagues at Clubhouse. If you'd like to purchase lunch at Clubhouse, it's $1.50. Um, we try and provide a well-balanced meal that will fill your belly. Um, <laughs> uh, we have a garden outside. Um, we, we try to grow our own produce here that we can use in the summertime and implement that into our meals. Um, we're trying to incorporate a lot of wellness into Clubhouses. Oh, and that we've recently brought back um, our side salads. We offer side salad daily um, for 50 cents to, for wellness. Um, we also we have uh, side options for people as well. If you don't like our main uh, meal, you can get a grilled cheese or a hot dog. You're welcome to bring your own lunch to Clubhouse as well. a salad a member just made a salad for the holiday so we get together on all the holidays and have a great time that's Adele working our dishwashing he's doing our dishwashing We've had members work very hard on it. We offer all kinds of vegetables. So now I'll show you the other part of our clubhouse. We're doing a video. Mm -hmm. So there's opportunities here to travel. We've had members go to St. Louis, Missouri for a Clubhouse International Seminar. We've had members go to uh, Denver, Colorado for a Clubhouse International Seminar. We've had members go to Michigan Clubhouse Seminars, like they went to Grand Traverse Resort, and they spoke about that. 
We've had a 25th anniversary party. We've had a 20th anniversary party. We had members go to Washington, D.C. for a national conference where we met with Gary Peters and we told Gary Peters, our senator, all about Clubhouse, which was really cool. We got to go into his plush office and meet with him, which was cool. So if you want to come this way, we have Clubhouse policies here and everybody has to follow the policies. The policies were made up by the members. The members made up the policies. Um, this is a typical day here at Clubhouse, our schedule. Um, we have um, Clubhouse International standards that we follow. We have 37 standards that all Clubhouses follow. Um, over here is our employment board. These are all members that have jobs. So like Sarah works at DSW and Adele, who was doing the dishwashing you just saw, works at Family Dollar. Um, David here works for TJ Maxx and stuff like that. We have different types of employment. We have transitional employment where you work somewhere for six to nine months. It's a way of getting back into the workforce. And a clubhouse staff member will learn your job and help you do it. We have supported employment. These are people who got jobs through clubhouse and the clubhouse supports them in their employment. Then we have a whole bunch of Clubhouse members that went out and got their independent employment and got their own jobs. And again, when people work here, they still come here on their days off for support. So this is a great place to come for support when you work. I know when I've worked, I come here on my days off. And it's a great place for support and a great place to gather with other members. Um, again, I have an illness. And um, this place, I've met other people here that take the same medications as me, have the same illness as me, so I get support here. So if you want to come this way, um, this is our um, this is our other board. This is the member services unit, and these are all more like clerical and maintenance tasks of the clubhouse. Um, so we do things back here like copying, filing, um, data entry. Um, we do shredding back here, so members will do our shredding. Um, we keep our bathrooms clean on one, this side of the clubhouse. We have members here that clean the bathrooms. Um, we have a newsletter here that we put out every few months. Um, members write articles about how clubhouse is helping them in their recovery. And members write articles about different things that are happening around clubhouse. Um, we have all computers back here. Um, all these computers have the internet on them. So members can use computers throughout the day. Um, we have a copy machine, which is also our printer. So if you want to print anything off the computers, it comes off the copy machine. We have an education and employment room back here. Um, we have members that tutor other members back here. We had one member tutor another member, and that member got her GED. And then after she got her GED, she went to cosmetology school and got a cosmetology license. So we had that happen here. We have members that come back here to learn typing on our Mavis Beacon program, and members here that just help other members. I was teaching another member how to count change back here. So we have members teaching members and tutoring other members back in the education and employment room. And then, this is our director's office. His name is Urban. He's a great director, and this is his office. And then over here, this is our business operations section. So we have more computers back here for members to use. Um, we also count the money that we make in the snack shack every day. So we count up our proceeds on a daily basis. And we keep the track of the proceeds for the snack shack. We have a tour board back here where we keep track of who has tours, who comes here for tours. Um, again, everything I've learned how to do here, another member has taught me. So giving a tour here is something that another member taught me how to give a tour here. So I've learned how to do all kinds of stuff here from other members. And it's helped me to grow and helped me to get better in my illness. And I guess that ends, the, that ends it. All right. Thank you for coming. Just have a seat right there. 
busy right now. So I'm gonna do this part of the tour. So how was your tour? Oh, good. I'm glad the tour was good for you. So this part of the tour um, is to see if you're still interested in the clubhouse. Are you still interested in the clubhouse? Oh, good. So um, what you would get, you would get this referral packet. Everything is numbered because we um, keep a log on that of every tour that comes to the clubhouse. And um, we follow up with the packet and the member and the case manager to make sure everything's filled out. And basically the next page is trying to give you, it gives you information um, about the requirements to be part of the clubhouse. Most of our members utilize the smart connector. So um, if you have any problems of getting in connected with them, uh, once your client becomes a member of the clubhouse, the members here can help them with that. Um, they're also sufficient when it comes to transportation. So they either use um, smart connector, the smart bus system, uh, they use their family or friends, and um, if they're in a group home, their staff will bring them here. And some drives on their own, so which is good. Um, some are close by to where they either walk or bike to the clubhouse. All right, so th these are the next forms that we would need uh, once the uh, client will receive this referral packet. So the first one is a the referral form. So if you're referring the client here to the clubhouse, um, you will assist them to fill this out. Um, sometimes they can self-refer or you can refer them. All right. The next form is the emergency form. Um, basically this definitely needs to be filled out. So if we go out and on uh, any activities in the community, or if we have anything here at the clubhouse, uh, we de definitely will utilize this to contact them if anything comes about. And each year we update it to make sure the uh, emergency farm is up to date and we have a different color for each year. Here's the most important part is the letter, el letter of eligibility. Um, this has to be filled out by the psychiatrist, stating that they're mentally able to come to the clubhouse. And um, the primary leading diagnosis has to be a mental illness, severe persistent mental illness. And the secondary can be the spectrum, autism spectrum. If they have a co-current diagnosis, that's fine, as long as they're being treated from their, for their mental illness, co-occurring with their autism. Um, and once we get all three forms, we you can fax it to our fax number, which is on here on the form, um, or you can send it by email, uh, secured. And once we get that, the member will call the potential member to come to the clubhouse to schedule orientation. And once orientation is done, Basically, we will sit down to see if they're still interested in the clubhouse and, we'll be, and we will like open them up as a member of the clubhouse. So the orientation part of the clubhouse is kind of like you say, like a trial period to see if they're still interested um, in the clubhouse and to see if it's a good fit. Because clubhouse is not a good fit for everyone. And we understand that. And sometimes members or potential members may not be in the mood to be a part of the clubhouse, which we totally understand. Um, we will keep the referral as long as we can. There's no expiration dates of the referral. So um, once they're ready to come back, they can call up to the clubhouse and talk to one of the members to get back up again. So if you have any questions, just give us a ring. Thank you, have a great day.